Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a brand new Chilling Rain Pokemon Booster Box. And this is really one of my favorite times of the year when a new set is released. So Chilling Rain official release date for the set is tomorrow, June 18th, 2021. Now if you can believe it, this is already the 6th main expansion in the Sword and Shield series of sets. It is the largest Sword and Shield series set to date with 233 total cards. Now this box I did purchase from Collector's Cash for $139.99. I had to pre-order this box about three months ago and I have pre-ordered several products from Collector's Cash. You can find a link to their website in the description of this video. All you have to do is go back a year in time and prices for booster boxes and sealed products in general are much lower. So hopefully prices will come down a little bit for Chilling Rain, but that is the situation in the current environment. So in this video, I'll be opening up the first 18 booster packs of the booster box. Of course, 36 booster packs inside of a box. I'll also be doing a, sh a break style opening for Chilling Rain, a booster box of it in the near future. Details for that will be in the description as well as in the live chat of this video. And then I'll also be doing a live stream booster box break within the next week or so on my channel. So Chilling Rain, it is based around both Shadow Rider and Ice Rider Calyrex, and then it also has the Galarian forms of Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. So I'll get the plastic wrap off of the box and then give you a better look at it before I get to opening the packs. And as always, if you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Smash that like button if you think this video deserves it. I actually took the day off of work today to open up this box just so I could spend the day enjoying the new set. I'll go to a better view here and the box definitely has some blue color to it. That's why the camera is off a little bit. But there would be the Galarian form of Zapdos on the side. You can see the back of the box if you want to read a little bit about the set overall. And of course, I'll head to TCG Player and take a look at the price guide as well. Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX is probably the best card in the set if you're looking to play competitively. So 36 total packs. And then there's one left in here. So there's a look at all 36 packs. Of course, the individual box like that. So I'll open up 18 in part one, 18 in part two, like I said. So there is 18 and 18, 36 total packs. There you have it. I'll open up the right stack of packs first. And I am so excited to get this set opened up. I've done a couple of videos for Chilling Rain already on my channel. Had some decent success pulling out a secret rare water energy. So here is a price guide for Chilling Rain on tcgplayer.com. And right now, the most valuable card in the set, the card that I really want the most would be the Gold Colors Snorlax Secret Rare. It's worth around $175. And this is another set to include the alternate arts. So those are some of the most valuable cards in the set right now, just because those are more collectible. This is a jam pack set. It continues the battle styles mechanisms of rapid strike and single strike. Zero or a V, a great card for, I believe, rapid strike. There's just a look at some of the cards in the set. I actually did a first look opening in the pre-release video that I did. So at the end of this video, I'll summarize all of my polls and then I'll also show the prices for some of the polls, if I get anything good that is. I have the Elite Trainer boxes to open up. I have the three pack blisters. I actually was able to find Elite Trainer boxes available on Walmart today. Walmart.com that is. All right, there's the Galarian form of Zapdos. Of course, if you ask me personally, first generation Pokemon, the best, and then second generation, and then after that, it's sort of a toss-up. 
Now I've seen some booster boxes being opened up and the pull rates for this set aren't great. With that being said, that was similar to Battle Styles, but some of the booster boxes that I opened up of Battle Styles, well above average pulls. Hatena starts the very first pack in this video. Sobble, Bound Sweet, Furfru, Cubfu, Fire Type Energy, Celio, Peonia, a supporter, it says, put up three prize cards into your hand. Then for each prize card you put into your hand in this way, put a card from your hand face down as a prize card, similar to something like Gladion from Crimson Invasion, Fire Resistant Gloves, Reversal of a Passimian, which is a rare. This card's ability, your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's Bench Pokemon V and Bench Pokemon GX. And this is also available as a pre-release promo for the set. Final card would be a Rare Hollow in a Greedent. And that's the risk with some of the booster boxes for this set. You're seeing a lot of Rare Hollow pulls as opposed to Secret Rares and Ultra Rares. Ideally, you'd get 12 or so white colored code card packs. Those have the Rare Hollows, Ultra Rares, or Secret Rares. As far as I know, the best card that you could get in the Reverse Hollow slot in this set would be the Rare Reverse Hollow like I got with that Passimian. There's not anything like Amazing Rares or Shiny Vault cards or anything like that in this set. Shuppet starts this pack, Squovit, Sveal, Swirlix, Galarian Yaw Mask, Psychic Type Energy. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the first set for a while that has basic Secret Rare Energy cards available. Water, Fighting, and Psychic in this set. Drizzile, Dyna Tree Hill, Pokemon, Can't Be Healed, Justified Gloves, Reverse of a Malamar, is that another rare? Two for two so far. And the final card would be a Zangoose. A little bit darker artwork to the cards in this set. Rapid Strike Tentacles on this Malamar is a decent Rapid Strike attack. Reveal any number of Rapid Strike cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you reveal in this way. And then you must shuffle those cards back into your deck. Here is the Shadow Rider form of Calyrex. Like I said, Ice Rider and Shadow Rider available as the Elite Trainer boxes. And it was disappointing to hear. I pre-ordered two of the, actually four of the Elite Trainer boxes from the Pokemon Center's website. Got an email saying there won't be 10 packs in those, only eight. But then you received a lot of additional items for that mistake. Score Bunny starts this one. Aeron. Snow Runt. Venipede, Snover, Fire Type Energy, Laron, Steeny, Rugged Helmet, Reverse Sullivan, Avery. This is a new supporter. Draw three cards. If you draw, if you drew any cards in this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from their bench until they have three. So that is a great supporter to use against a deck like Eternatus V Max. Final card would be a Zebstrika. I do like, I didn't at first, but I do like the rapid strike and single strike aspect of things. And good news, at least here in Minnesota, the Dork Den, where I normally go to play the competitive TCG, is opening up public events again. So at least locally, I can start playing in person. Of course, you can always play on the online TCG. Weedle starts this one. Galarian Farfetch'd. Cast Form Rainy Form, Larvesta, Sneasel, Darkness Type Energy, Peony, a supporter that says discard your hand and search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, Galarian Chestplate, Caitlin, the supporter, put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw that many cards, love this supporter card, very useful, Venipede would be the reverse hall, like common, and the final card, an Ampharos. And if my memory serves me correctly, this set does include more trainer cards, just percentage-wise, as sets in the past. And I know when Lost Thunder was released, that was, I believe, the largest set at the time. And 
it was such a good set overall for deck building. Pretty good when it came to non, what would be back then, GX decks. Golet starts this one. Porygon. Love Porygon from base set. Grookey. Mareep. Rockruff. Playing in the snow. Grass type energy. Flannery. This supporter says discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play. A very disruptive type of supporter. Old Cemetery. Whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their non psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Steamy, reverse all of a Weeding Gloves, a tool that helps out grass type Pokemon. Final card, nice, look at that beautiful card. Blaziken V, and this would be a V Full Art. And there are, if you can believe it, 26 V Full Art cards in this set. This is a beautiful looking one. Almost looks like fireworks going off in the background now. Blaziken VMAX, a very good card from the set. So this is step one to getting to VMAX of Blaziken in a deck. But look at that beautiful looking card. Fire Spin, 210 damage for four energy. Not a terrible attack, but like I said, you need this to get to Blaziken VMAX. Love this card. And as a collector, not just a competitive player, I, I do like those full art cards for my collection. And there are several full art trainer cards available as well. 13 total in this expansion. Here would be a Galarian Moltres. And Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. I really like from the Fossil expansion. And just the memories and Fossil and Jungle, even base set too really. Those are some of my favorite sets. And a Pokemon like Jolteon, one of my favorite Pokemon. All because of the hollow cards in those first few sets. Lapras starts this one. Blitzel, Aeron, Deerling, Delibird, Fighting Type Energy, Drizzile, Cybold, the supporter. Choose up to two of your Rapid Strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from each of them. Melanie, I know this one, is a good one. Attach a Water Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. If you do draw three cards, not as good as Welder for Fire-type Pokemon, but a great Energy Accelerator for Water-type ones. Reverse Solo of a Kecleon. This would be a rare. Make that three rare Reverse Solos already. Final card. Look at that! A Blaziken VMAX, and this would be a VMAX Rainbow Rare. And that calls for a dab, an elbow cough in the live chat. Thank you everyone for watching this video as I premiere it, but look at that. What a great box right there. So this card, very good. One of, how many? 11 different secret rare VMAX in the set. Eight different rainbow rares. This is a rapid strike attacker. Clutch and Max Blaze. Max Blaze is the better attack. 130 damage for two energy cards and then choose up to two of your Benched Rapid Strike Pokemon and attach an energy card from your discard pile to each of them. So it is more of an energy accelerator and fire type Pokemon for the most part. Very powerful attacker. So this is a great way to not only do damage, but set up your benched Rapid Strike Pokemon. And it doesn't even have to be fire type Pokemon. It could be any type that you like. For grading purposes, if you're interested in that... Pretty good centering, I would say. I've definitely seen much worse. So that is an excellent pull right there. The box has been made. You don't always get those secret rares from a booster box. Now, I've had a booster box before that I've pulled two secret rares out. I've had plenty that I, I don't pull any at all. All right, here is the Galarian form of Articuno now. Such a great start here. Let's keep those good pulls coming. Like I said, with battle styles, if this set is similar, there are booster boxes out there that have terrible pulls, and there's other ones out there that just have amazing. This pack starts with Scorbunny, Diglett, Golet, Deerling, Sneasel, Fire-type Energy, Porygon 2, Thwacky, 
Echoing Horn, this card. Put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile on their bench. So that is an interesting trainer card. Reverse Hall of a Sobble, a common. Rare here. Oh boy, stock. It would be a Sandaconda V. So another ultra rare here. Sandaconda, one of 15 different regular Pokemon V in the set. Was lucky enough to pull out a Sandaconda V Max from one of my earlier Chilling Rain openings. So not bad there. Nothing to get too excited about. Those V cars normally worth a dollar or two dollars. I know that's one thing that really rubs me the wrong way with some Poketubers out there. I know they're doing it to get views, but a lot of times they just freak out, have over-the-top reactions for a card like a Sandaconda V. Last time I checked, you had to pay more for the booster pack than that card was worth. And my favorite part about opening would be just pulling out one card that you're really hoping for. A lot of times that is the most valuable card, but not all of the times. Hatena starts this one. Aeron. Ralts. Venipede. Bound Sweet. Psychic Type Energy. Ledian. Peonia. Honey, the supporter. Draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon V. Rapid Strike or Shifu, is this a rare? Yes, it is. Final card would be a Cacleon, a card that I pulled as a Reverse Hollow earlier. So hopefully the good pulls continue. Like I said, this will be part one. I'll upload part two tomorrow, and then as soon as it is uploaded to YouTube, I'll link it in the description of this video. And then when I do the live stream opening of a Chilling Rain booster box, I'll just open up the entire booster box in one video and then again I will be having upcoming break for a chilling rain booster box info in the live chat portion of this video Porygon starts this pack Heracross Sobble Inke Squovit Metal type energy Ledian Old Cemetery this is a decent stadium card. Whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their non-psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Impact energy, a special energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to can't be poisoned. If it is already poisoned, it recovers from that special condition. Reverse Hall of a Slurpuff. Doing very well with the rare Reverse Hollows. I'm thinking... 11 or so in the booster box and then a saws buck would be the rare and i know in a set like evolutions where you can get a charizard rare hollow as well as a charizard rare reverse hollow i actually like the reverse hollow better it's worth less but i'm just so used to seeing that charizard as a rare hollow just seeing that card a little bit differently as a reverse hollow it piques my interest a little bit more Four and then two for the card trick to move the rare and reverse all to the back. Grookey starts this one. Sneasel. Weedle. Galarian Farfetch'd. Cast Form Rainy Form. Fighting Type Energy. Single Strike Scroll of Piercing. You can attach as I say tool and do 120 damage. Melanie again. Expedition Uniform. Laron would be the reverse hollow uncommon. And then Serena would be the rare. Next pack here. And I, I really hope out of this box I get one alternate art card. As the V full arts, there are 10 different alternate arts. And then as the rainbow rares or secret rare V Max cards, three alternate arts. Like I said, my most wanted card is that Snorlax. Snorlax is one of my favorite Pokemon, all because of the Rare Hollow in the Jungle set. Porygon starts this one. Heracross. Sobble. Inke. Squovit. Fire-type Energy. Echoing Horn. Cybold. Choose up to two of your Rapid Strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from each of them. Curlia. Reverse Hollow of a Thwacky. Good alliteration there, I about butchered it, an uncommon. Final card, a Cobalion, a rare hollow. Lots of foil on that card. It really stands out in the video. Only two rare hollow pulls so far, two ultra rares, one secret rare. 
Shadow Rider Calyrex pack now, VMAX. I've had booster boxes where part one is terrible pulls, part two is amazing pulls, so hopefully part one and part two in this particular booster box will be exceptional. Deli Bird starts this one, Larvesta, Mareep, Heracross, Clobopus, Psychic Type Energy, Haunter, Flannery, Crabominable, Reverse Solo of that same Flannery, a disruptive type of supporter, an uncommon final card, Galarian Zapdos V. And one of my most wanted cards in the set, actually one of three of my most wanted cards, just these Galarian forms of Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Of course, Dos, Trace, and Uno. Two, three, and one, I guess. Uno, Dos, Trace, a four Spanish there. And of course, for those that have been watching my videos for a little while, my wife, Carla, normally does join me in the live streams. I definitely missed her participation, but she is expecting our daughter in October. So she doesn't like going up and down the stairs a bunch to come down to the studio. So hopefully she'll be able to join in the future. Of course, she is originally from Mexico and she is fluent in Spanish. It was her first language, even though English is her primary language now. So I promised Carla that I would be more fluent in Spanish once our daughter is born. She wants our daughter to be bilingual, which is perfectly fine. Blitzel starts this one. Ghastly. Coughing. Delibird. Galarian Farfetch'd. Metal Type Energy. Impact Energy. Porygon 2. Thwacky. Reverse all of a Tapu Fini. Is this another rare? Yes, it is. Final card would be Scolipede. And I do like that there's 233 cards in the set, like I mentioned, the largest Sword and Shield series to date. Not too many duplicates so far. Here is the card that I pulled out, Galarian Zapdos. Like I said, with those Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes, because of the Air boxes only getting 8 packs instead of 10, they're sending, I, I don't know if they're promo cards or just the cards from this set of Galarian, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. V. Bound Sweet starts this one. Lapras. Blitzel. Aeron. Deerling. Water type energy. Brawly. This one says search your deck for up to three basic rapid strike Pokemon and put them on your bench. That is a decent supporter card. Only for rapid strike Pokemon, of course. Celio. Clara, choose one or both, put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand, not bad. Gengar, another rare reverse solo, and then the final card, a Doug Trio. So ending the pack with two rares, both first generation Pokemon. Like I mentioned, I definitely like first generation Pokemon more than other generations. It is nice in a new set like this that... They include all different generations of Pokemon. Now you do have the two different versions of the code cards, a green colored code card here indicating essentially nothing in the pack, maybe a good trainer card, but a rare non-hollow in that final spot. Porygon starts it, Swirlix, Sneasel, Snover, Lediba, Darkness Type Energy, Avery, Ledian, Old Cemetery, Reverse Sol of a Swirlix, a Common, and then Wall Rain would be the rare. Three packs left to go in part one, and then again, I will be linking part two in the description of this video as soon as it is uploaded to YouTube. So if you're not watching this video as soon as I uploaded it, more than likely part two is already available on YouTube. Of course, today, June 17th, is one day before the official release. If you went to pre-release events, those were the past two weekends, so that's how I was able to get some early. This pack starts with Cast Form Snowy Form, Hatena, Aeron, Ralts, Venipede, Grass Type Energy, Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies, Curlia, Fog Crystal, this is a decent one here. Search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand. Reverse all of a Snow Runt, a common. Rare here, 
would be a Volcanion V. So another Pokemon V, one of 15 different ones in the set. I pulled out Sandaconda and then Galarian Zapdos previously. This artwork reminds me of Volcanion from what? Steam Siege, Volcanion EX. Nothing special about this attacker here. It can do major damage. I guess, well, Dynamite Attack, 100 damage plus. If this Pokemon has 10 or more damage counters on it, this attack does 150 more damage. So you might be able to do that for a turn, maybe two, doing 250 damage, which that is a very powerful attack. But it won't take long in the current state of affairs to knock out a Pokemon that has 220 for the HP. Second to last pack, and again, make sure if you have not already to subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you think this video deserved it. And I try and do my best to be as informative as possible on my channel. Just have a good time on my videos. Diglett starts the second to last pack. Larvesta. NK, Rockruff, Ghastly, Lightning Type Energy, Crabominable, Spiral Energy. This is similar to what Impact Energy? That a Pokemon with this attached to it can't be paralyzed. Honey. Doctor would be the reverse solo. Doctor, I believe, is available as a full art trainer. Draw two cards. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon VMAX, draw two more cards. This will never see run. And the final card would be an Aboma Snow. On to the final pack in part one. Very happy with the pulls. Hoping to get similar pulls in part two, that is for sure. Again, I did pre-order this booster box from Collector's Cash for $139.99. Hopefully, you guys will be able to find Chilling Rain products in retail stores or on the website for Collector's Cash. I know my local Walmart has not had anything in as of recording this video. If they have, it's all been picked up immediately. Cast Form, Sunny Form starts this final pack. Regular Cast Form, Lediba, Golit, Clobopus, Fighting Type Energy, Lucky Energy, Porygon 2, Raboot, Reverse Sol of a Porygon, a Common, Final Card, a Volcarona. So give me a second here and I can summarize all of my polls and then show you everything laid out on the table. Very happy with the polls in part one. In part one, I was able to pull out seven rare reverse solos, starting with Gengar, Tapu Fini, Slurpuff, Rapid Striker Shifu, Kecleon, Malamar, Passimian, and then two rare hollow, Cobalion, and Greedent. And then as far as the ultra rares and secret rares went, I pulled out five total. I was able to pull out three Pokemon V. Really happy with the legendary bird that I pulled out. So Volcanion, Galarian Zapdos, love the look of this card, and Sandaconda. And then two different Blaziken cards. The V Full Art, a beautiful looking card. Like I said, looks like almost fireworks are going off in the background. I would say more than likely some type of volcano. And then the best pull in part one of this booster box would be the Blaziken VMAX. All right, so here's a look at the most valuable card that I pulled from this booster box, at least in part one, the Blaziken VMAX, the Rainbow Rare. On TCG Player right now, you can purchase it for around $49. So. Not a bad card to have pulled. And then here is a look at the best cards from part one. Like I said, that Blaziken VMAX, the Rainbow Rare, the V Full Art, and then the three Pokemon V. So on to part two of this booster box opening. Very happy with part one. Hopefully the good pulls will continue in the second half of this booster box opening. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to subscribe to my channel and leave a like, and then to check out all of the other ways that you can help support my channel in the description of this video. Thank you to anyone who has donated via the live chat using Super Chat and Super Stickers. I do have a Patreon out there. My book, Pokemon Cards, the unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide is available. And then, like I said, I will be having an upcoming Chilling Rain Booster Box break. Info for that is in the live chat. So thank you everyone for watching. See you everyone in part two.
and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.